Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nox if you're new or welcome darling. This is a safe place, a safe space. Just sit back, relax and enjoy. Guys, it is a beautiful Friday afternoon. Ayanda insisted that we come to this art gallery here at Keys Art Mayo. She just knocked off now at 2.30. Um, so it's going to take her about another 8 to 10 minutes to get here. So I think I'm just going to have a young refreshment at Kanpai. Kanpai or Kanpai. I'm not sure about the pronunciation of that restaurant. But I'm just going to get, get a mocktail while I wait for her. I thought I should start this vlog now because, I mean, why not show you? Okay, she just messaged me. Hey, Aya, I'm already at Keys Art, so you can make your way here. I'm waiting. Hopefully, they allow us to capture some footage inside the art gallery. If not, that's okay. No, it's not. I really want you guys to see what's happening in there. But yeah, for now, let's go have a drink. A drinky drink, drink. drink. No bullshit, back up on the scene. Done dealing with you, don't know how to deal with me. Done fucking with you, don't know how to love me. Done dealing Thank you. with you, so I'm back. It seemed like I get so much, I don't get nothing back. I really thought it was love, but you're so fucking whack. Always get caught up in love, but I am done with that. I can't get caught up in love, so now I'm working. Yeah. Flexing on my exes and my Model X Pretty little skinny little bitty body Model X Some of y'all ain't never so had no real bitch in the show I keep it 100 in my head, I keep my toes Back up on the <laughs> bullshit, back up on the move Push down in my hometown, got nothing to lose I am on my own now, I am in control now I need you to go now, I can fix my own Hi guys, it is Saturday. We are going to Val Marina. Hi, you do. guys update time so we are at a place called fall marina afrikaans term but we're just here to celebrate my grandmother like people are here fishing there's a dam just want to show you quickly that's my uncle <laughs> hola <laughs> so pretty yeah guys so i think for the rest of the this part where we're here i won't really talk much i'm just going to be showing you around um everything that we're up to so enjoy say hi to the vlog babe say hi to the vloggy vlog guys ethan is pulling my hair so bad Ow. literally hi guys say hi to the vlog hi Hey, give her content. Hey, give housewife material. Hey, not a whole housewife. I'm 
Eh, kan tu buat rawaing kan. Hi, can I show you something? This mascara is all over my eye now. Damn. Where? Look, my nana put up the sign, the happy birthday sign. Yeah. But look how birthday spells. What is this? Birthday. Who did that? Happy birthday to you. I do that three four times again. I testify for you. I'm so in love. You that bitch. I do it all. Guys, guys, I'm not bored. I'm not bored. They literally finished everything. And oh, hi guys. <laughs> How rude. San Bonan. So, um, a colleague of mine was telling me that there's a Le Creuset pop-up shop here at Four Ways Mall. I must run. So, here I am running to the pop-up store only to find like small Anyana mugs. I don't even know what kind of mugs. Espresso mugs maybe? I don't know. And other like things that I wouldn't use. I told my dad about it. My dad was like, go check. Maybe if you find something, buy for the house and then I'll take the pots that are at home. So I get the Agna look top. So the sales ladies there said I must come tomorrow early in the morning um, and hopefully I find something. But guys, the shelves are empty. She said the first few weeks they were non stick pots. Those are my favorite because I'm funny. 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 Yeah, I was so excited to walk in the shop and come out with something. I'm coming out empty handed. doing my nails and you know what mm. it's giving scrunches and I'll be going out for dinner and this weather what 15 degrees Simfuna and 15 degrees hmm? why why is it so cold what's stressing me right now is that I'm going to go tonight because I want to look cute but at the same time I'm the type to layer up I'll wear three vests Four shirts and a jacket, and by the time I'm and by the time I'm done getting dressed, I look like this, like a penguin because I can't look with so many layers on. But tonight I gotta look cute. It's <laughs> We're at Big Mouth. We're about to have lunch. Literally famished. 
So yeah, I just wanted to update you guys. Yesterday after dinner, we went to Rocket just to have some happy, just to dance and mane. Literally by like half past eleven, we were gone. So yeah, that's the update, guys. After this, we're gonna go to um, Opera. She's gonna have some honey again. So yeah, see you later. Hi guys. So the last time we spoke was when we were at dinner at Jemeli. After dinner we went to Rockets. After Rockets home time. After home time the next day. Um what happened? Ran some errands. So yeah, that's what happened on the weekend. And then it was Monday. Monday, then Tuesday. Tuesday yesterday was Heritage Day. Happy belated Heritage Day. Had to take my brother to the airport. He went on a tour to um Spain. It was supposed to be a bride day, but it ended up being a buy bride meet and have bride meat day. So that's what happened. Okay, right now I'm about to do some smoothie packs for breakfast and then somebody tell me, somebody tell me the answers. Me you isn't the answer. Me you isn't Maybe I'm telling myself that But there ain't nothing that'll change that What good would it be If I knew how you felt about me yeah. It could've been right but I was wrong The only thing I choose Oh, why does it do that? Guys, Samsung camera features are actually insane Cause what just happened? It felt like the phone was on a wall I'm getting dressed to start my day i just want to say that nothing fits guys nothing fits the last time i was home i altered my work pants because i was at work most of the time now that i'm going to be home for this holiday i don't even know what i'm going to wear because nothing fits also i can't keep altering everything because right now i need to prioritize my finance my finances and alterations are, should be the least of my worries and now everything is let me show you everything is fake i look like a freaking i look crazy okay i don't think you can really see on camera but to me this is too big hey guys hey so jay i'm not having a good time i'm just not having a good time trying to figure out what to wear but like i said can't be focused on clothes right now can't be buying clothes, can't be kimbasa out the window. Last thing on my priority list. Mm. Anyway, guys, as I'm taking things out of the wardrobe, I come across these jeans. Now, if you know the movie uh, Story of the Traveling Pants, the Story of the Traveling Jeans, something like that, this is similar. The story behind these jeans is similar to that movie. So, I have an aunt, my mom's cousin, who used to travel the world, was a flight attendant, lived her best life. And so, she bought these jeans somewhere while she was still traveling, right? 
and then she grew into a woman body then she gave them down to her sisters then her sisters grew into their woman body so on and so forth so these genes have been passed down from aunt to aunt to aunt to aunt now when i received them they didn't fit me okay they didn't fit me they i think either they didn't fit me or i didn't like the cut because it's giving pull up what you like what you see what you see what you coming up but you let me show you let me show you hey buddy what you watching what you watching what you, you see guys these are low low let low cut low rise these are low what do you mean everybody check out what you what you watch it my daughter let me stand here pull up what you like what you like what you see i'm just saying bitch up on my aunt make me swear make me water you're not what's up we You are not a girlfriend, you've only seen him six times. Six yeah. times. If I divorce changed, you know, it used to be such a It did, like it. Oh my goodness. Oh, I miss him. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mizi and Naked DJ have spoken. You can listen for the rest of South Africa on what they've got. I love me some Oscar Man. Nothing about Oscar Man. Yeah, it's hard. Oh, yeah, it's hard. Shout out to Bonang. For those of you who remember back in the day when it actually started with Bonang, shout out to her. It was Bonang, the naked DJ, and the naked DJ's partner at the time. I forgot his name. They used to DJ as a duo, if I'm not mistaken. But this concept, shout out to my girl B. quick tour of the house i'm gonna start outside so if you had to drive in you're driving through the gate obviously or you go in the garage through the carport area so there's space for one two three probably even four cars over here right this is the bright area garden and the chill area possibility of there being a pool in the future over there is very high right let's keep our fingers crossed the more you book the more we can save the better chances of us having a pool over here for days like today it's scorching hot right then this side i've got more of the garden excuse the wheelbarrow i've got our neighbors that side and more of the garden the yard is quite big so here we've got some little plants plants let's go inside the house Okay, to get inside the house, you'd get the key, so you'd find this open, you'd get the key, punch in the code, you get it. Alright, obviously the code changes every time, but right now they've already set it for the guests that are coming. So we're going to use the garage to go through. Let's go. Okay, we're going through the garage, still going to build like a storage situation for all these things okay as soon as you enter the garage you see the kitchen that's what the kitchen looks like very modern two-tone situation happening excuse that plastic i'm still about to sort everything out uh obviously when you book here you won't see all these things still need to sort all that out this is the sitting area in the kitchen from this angle here we've got a clock and there's the door that you would have entered through earlier that i showed you okay when we walk this way we've got a mirror 
to our left is our first bedroom it's quite a small bedroom um this is very new i just found it now i'm assuming my dad did it this week i've got the window mirror bed i call this the yellow room because of the yellow cushions that match with the sort of like yellow frames this is the yellow room opposite the yellow room is the bathroom so we've got a bathtub we've got decor we've got towels towels all that good stuff you know what i'm saying right right next to the bathroom we've got the green room this is the green room bedding bed the whole thing Right, then we've got the main bedroom. We've got the bed, wall art, mirror over here, tile shelves. I need to get a diffuser for there and also for the yellow room. I saw the green room has, no, for the green room, the yellow room has it's the wardrobe. There's an ensuite bathroom at the shower. It's got a shower, um, basin so on and so forth all that good stuff so yeah guys that's the house that was a quick tour <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another one of my random vlogs. So I got up this morning, took a bath and made myself a scrumptious fruit salad for breakfast. We are running errands for two of my dad's Airbnbs. For the first Airbnb, the guests had requested for more crockery. So I went to Mr. Price to get that. I also had to get a clothing rack for one of the rooms um, because it doesn't have a wardrobe. So this is the best option. So I made my way to the first Airbnb, which is called Utopia at Golden Crescent. Couldn't really show you inside because I was going to be invading the guests' privacy. Then my second stop was Volps. You know when you have accommodation, things just go missing. So I had to get these towels. And while I was there, my dad gave me a call to let me know that the guests at the second Airbnb, which is Utopia on the Rock, had requested for a hairdryer. So I decided to get four hair dryers for all the other Airbnbs. While I was at Discam, I also got my prescription, got some plugs for the hair dryers, uh, and got some skincare. What's a Discam run without getting skincare? These guests had requested for some cleaning, so I was able to sneak in, uh, assemble the hair dryer, do the right thing, and just put it in one of the drawers so that when they got back, they would find it there. Then I went downstairs to knock on the other guests' uh, door to check if they were willing to take their dryer, but they weren't there. They'd already left. Um, so yeah, guys, it's game day. It's Argentina versus Spring Box. That's why we had all the accommodations booked and busy. So I also got a ticket to go watch. I obviously had to get some ice cream. That was my girl lunch. Guys, it was such a great game. We sang the national anthem, but this is the real national anthem. <laughs> I love being South African. <laughs> it was such a great game. 
the boys outdid themselves yeah guys that's it thanks for watching bye